what I'm going to do is replace the uh, factory hanger that does not fit this uh, replacement muffler. I'm going to make a couple straps out of some flat stock here. And uh, see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to cut two 23 inch straps here. And we'll put them Okay, I've got the strap centered on here. I'm going to kind of bend it around the contour of the muffler. And also mark it when I'm on the side. Do that to the other strap as well. Okay, now I've got this partially formed strap in this, in this vice table, and I have the mark, the line mark where I want the uh, where I want the bend to be. So I'm putting it in here, the mark just a little bit below it, because there's going to be always a little curve to the bend. With it like that, I'm just going to use the table and bend the strap. And do the same thing on the other side. Bend it back. And then we're just going to do the other one and then bolt it together. Okay, now we're going to bolt the two halves of our homemade clamp together. I've got this set up here, the clamp, so it's exactly in the same position from the end of the muffler as the original was. A lock washer on here. Get it up nice and tight. Okay, nice and snug. And now, so if we bend it good, it's not going anywhere. It's strapped on there just fine. Um, now we're going to get underneath and see where we need to bend these off so that they can hang on the rubber hangers, existing rubber hangers under the caravan. Okay, what I've done here is uh, just put it in place here to see where I'm going to be bending my straps up, the homemade straps. So I made a line on here, so I want it to come up the bend to come up approximately right here and I'm going to run a bolt through there. I'll have to expand one of the existing holes because I'm going to use a bolt the same size diameter as the as the hole in the rubber hanger. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll uh, get this thing done. Okay, what I'm doing now is bending these straps up. As you can see I clamped a piece of angle iron in here for something to bend against. And I'm using a flat blade screwdriver to get started. And we'll just push this up. This isn't like super precision work because you have some flexibility with the uh, with the rubber piece that's underneath there with the rubber bumper. But we know that's approximately the bend that we're looking for. And then again we're going to have to go back underneath again after I do the other side 
and uh, determine where to drill the hole. So I've got a much bigger bolt to run through there. It's going to go into the rubber hanger. Okay, now I've got to take our muffler, now that we've bent the straps, take it back under there, seat it one more time, and mark where the holes need to be drilled through. Because we're going to be mounting this bolts. Here they are. They're going to go through these holes, obviously, not quite big enough. We're going to mount molt, bolts, uh, washers, not swap washers, all that good stuff, right through the rubber hanger. Okay, we marked the hole. This is it here. But now, since this clamp got bent and I want to use both thicknesses, I have to uh, widen out this one hole. I've got a little drill bit sharpening stone on it. In addition to that, to clear that, I have to widen. I have to widen this hole, make this hole bigger, so it fits the right size bolt that I have. Okay, it's getting real close. Okay, so this is the final hanging solution that I came up with here, made from the straps. Got some 7 16 bolts that are going to go through here. The rubber hanger is going to be here, and then I'll put a nut on here. And I have a nylock nut. Since you can't really torque this application, I don't want it working itself loose. So I'll be using a nylock nut on that. Okay, let's go hang it.